it's Becca from Adventures with Becca and Zena. And Zena too. Hey, say hi, Zena. Today, Zena and I are going to go hike at uh, Canview Nordic Center. There's a lot of trails here. I've never been out here hiking yet. I used to come out here years when I was a little kid, uh, cross country skiing with my dad. I've never been out here to hike, so I'm going to check it out. And the nice thing is, we got maps here, trail maps. And this little lodge here, too. So we're going to go check it out and then get started on the hike. So uh, stay tuned. So this is the beginning. I gotta find where we go in. Okay. To Aspen. Like the only ones I remember by name is Tamarack and Aspen when I used to cross country. Oh, Jackrabbit too. I used to cross country ski here. Okay, so we're gonna take Roadway Ramble. This, yeah, this is Roadway Ramble. I think this is like the main one. At least it's all got signs, they're all named. It's pretty wide open, <coughs> taken care of out here. Something's caught her interest there. So that last hike in the Norwester Mountains, I said I was gonna go back there and do it again, get an early start, but uh, yeah, I <coughs> changed my mind because ticks are so bad out there. Hopefully they're not bad here. I'm not sure what the tick situation is like is in this area. I've never been here before or for hiking. So, but uh, I got her a tick collar and uh, I sprayed her really good so with some tick spray beforehand. So hopefully she doesn't pick up any. But periodically I'll check her while we're out on this hike. Every time I take a little break, give her a little check, a thorough check when I get home. Do look out. Definitely want to go there. Expert. Definitely got to go there. So wide open here. Yeah, we're still on that uh, roadway ramble. Just making our way up to want to get to that lookout. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, I was looking on the map there, and looks like it's kind of complicated to get to it. I have to get onto a couple of different trails and get to it, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. This would be a pretty challenging hike that one. Can't wait to see what what it has to offer. What kind of lookout it has. The one memory I have of being out here with both my parents. Well, I used to always love to come out here with it. It's just me and my dad. And because uh, if it came with both my parents, my mother didn't want to go on the challenging trails. Uh, like, this is, like I said, when we used to cross country ski out here. So my dad would always go on the fun ones and I'd, get, I'd be, have to go with my mother because she didn't want to go by herself, but my dad would go by himself on the fun ones. Now I remember Aspen. That's one trail that's coming up here. I remember I used to always want to do that one with my dad because it had a long straight slow, steep hill at the end. I always loved going down that. You go super fast, kind of like downhill skiing to me. <laughs> but if my mom came along then I'd always go with her, on the easy ones with her. Well, my dad gets to go on the fun ones. But yeah coming out here brings back some memories. Although not used to be it so with uh, without the snow. Like I said, I only cross country skied out here. This was like whew, this has been the eighties. Yeah, that's probably like you know about 13, 14 years old, 15. Now we're coming up to a trail junction, some signs here. Look out. Okay, so we're gonna to wanna to go this way. Back to
trying to find our way to the uh, lookout trail. We're on the Aspen Trail. And I took I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. And they don't eat the grass. But we're gonna take a break here, nice little picnic table here. Nice little area. I think this is what's known as the hub. It's a nice little area where a bunch of trails intersect. So I think yeah, the Aspen Trail's over there. So I think I gotta go with that way. And look at the map and figure that out. Have something to eat here and a drink. Zena really smells something. She's intensely sniffing around here. <laughs> Must be some wildlife that she smells. This trail here, this part kind of reminds me of the Sawyer Bay Trail at the Giant a little bit. Man, I wish we were out at the Giant though. On our way to a camp. But again, it's just another day hike for now. They were saying that they would uh, open up the campsites on uh, June 2nd, possibly. But they've extended that to June 14th. So for sure it's going to be June 14th. Unless the numbers start to rise again. Now that the cases uh, stay the way they are, they're definitely going to reopen on the 14th. So hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyways, again, I'm not sure I'm on the right track. You know, I love the fact that you know I got a, there's a map and it's got a lot of signage, but it's all confusing. It's the way it's uh, made out. So I think we're on the right path, but not sure. But whatever, I'll just enjoy the hike. So when I do go to the Giant, uh, and then this next time, I go out there for two weeks. Well, anywhere between a week and two. I'm not sure yet, depends. And uh, I'm gonna have a mission while I'm out there. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you know, you, hints of it in my some of my videos but i'm a smoker but when i go out next i've been cutting back and when i go out there next time to the giant i'm not bringing cigarettes with me except for one cigarette and that'll be my last cigarette i'm gonna have my last cigarette out there and that's it and being out there be no temptation i may want one really bad but i won't be able to get any <laughs> i'll be uh, way out in the forest and uh like about 50 kilometers to the closest place for to get cigarettes. Won't be able to just run over to the store and grab a pack of smoke. So that's my goal to quit smoking and quit out there. So hopefully I can do it. Been out there. Yeah, I'll have the last, like I said, I have the last cigarette out there. And you know, being out there all that time, by the time I get back home, the urge probably will be gone. I might get it sometimes, but but I really, really want to quit. You know, at least they pick it up and uh, put it in poop bags, but then they just toss it on the side of the trail. Like, what's wrong with people? Like, pack, pack it out, leave no trace. Come on. Oh, you just about stepped on this guy. The snake. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. The snake? The snake? Leave the snake alone. I try to get really up close to it, but I don't want to risk her grabbing it in the mouth. I almost stepped on that poor guy. I had my foot, I seen him at the last second. My foot was like right above him. I quickly pulled it up. <laughs> and now we're coming back out to the hub. Uh, here we went. There we went in this way. I wonder if. So this is the Aspen Trail. Where does the Aspen Trail come out? I'm gonna take the Aspen Trail. At some point, I know this does connect to the Lookout Trail. So we'll try this. Okay, let's go. Still got a lot of time. It's uh, Meadows here. Let's check this out. Lookout Trail is close, connects at the way at the other end. Not sure if I'm gonna make it up there, but. Oh, wow.
Hey, Zena. Oh, you like the views, eh? You like the views. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the opposite end of the Aspen Trail. So we have to hike the entire Aspen Trail. So it's close to the end of it. That's when I should find the Lookout Trail. Depending on time, see how it is when I get to the end of this one. This is a long one. Then we'll do the Lookout Trail. But yeah, those are all those mountains. Those are the Nor'wester Mountains. Uh, that you see, I'll put a link to the video, one of my videos hiking out there. That's where I hike a lot of times too. Now I discover this place. It's good for hiking. So I think I'm going to come out here more often, do some more exploring, because there's so much more trails out here too. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Nice, beautiful meadows. But okay, we're going to, I think I'm going to stop, have a bite to eat. So right now, yeah, we're at, there's the hub. Well, here we started over here. That's Roadway Ramble. And then we got to the hub. And we went up uh, the Beaver Trail. There, there. Back to the hub. Now we're on Aspen. We're right here. This is the meadows. So we still got to go all the way around that way up to here and then go up that way. That's the Lookout Trail. So we'll go through all that. Come back to the hub, back. Yeah, I think I got time for that. One other really nice thing about hiking out here is, uh, I don't see any, except for those uh, the poop bags, that one pile of poop bags there. I haven't seen any garbage, no litter, nothing, not even cigarette butts. That's what I like, it's really nice. I still can't believe those poop bags. I mean, you're gonna pick it up. Like, uh, if you're just going to leave it on the side like that in the poop bags, why not just not even put it in the bags at all? I mean, there's uh, garbage cans at the, at the parking lot. So it in, pick it up, throw it in your pack, and then throw it out at the trailhead. Oh wow, you're kidding me. So <laughs> we're back where we. Uh, First started on the beaver trail. We were on Aspen coming through there. We came up through there and we got to this point and I was like, okay, take the beaver and back. <laughs> we ended up back. So I don't know, the lookout point should, the, or the lookout trail should be somewhere down there. I must have missed it when we came up this way. Oh well, it's been a nice hike. That meadow section, I'm glad we got through there. Ended up there, so that was a nice spot. Okay. <laughs> Caution, Alan. Alan! Alan! <laughs> Alan! Al! Alan! Uh, Kristen would understand that joke, Alan. I'm wondering if this is the lookout trail. It looks too overgrown though, but it looks like it goes right up there. I'm gonna take a quick peek. Well, I think this is the right path, but it is too, too much downfall, too much to get through. Looks like there's a lot of trees back there down. There's this way, but it looks like it's roped off. Not sure. Let me check out over here. It looked like it was rope. this was blocked off, but it's not. There's an arrow to point that way. And there's a sign there. I think this might be the way. And this one looks like fun. Yeah, oh, North, North Lookout. Awesome, okay. North Lookout, 0 0.4 kilometers. All right, we're on the right path. 
And we're, like I said, we're getting into the fun stuff. This is the kind of trails I like. Nice, narrow, rugged trails like this. Hup. Not all that rugged. <laughs> it's just like a very short little bit of being rugged there and now it's kind of all opened up again. But we're on the right track. So we're heading up to the North Lookout. There was a sign back there said uh, South Lookout. Uh, in the other direction there. I think North Lookout it said, their sign said it was 350 meters. South Lookout, 800 meters. So we're gonna go to North Lookout, check it out. And then we'll head back to the uh, other lookout. Okay, we're coming up to the North Lookout. That's nice, there's a picnic table here. I never did eat yet, so let's eat up here. There's Zena, should I see it right on the edges there? can stove from that uh, Drew gave me from hiking with nature. He used to be hiking with epilepsy and now he's changed his channel to name to hiking with nature. Uh, time for coffee. Huh? Yeah I sure love this cat can stove. Yeah, time to make a coffee, relax for a while and Check out the other lookout and then head home. So nice sitting at this picnic table. Have a coffee. Zena's just chilling down there. lookout where we just came from and they say the one kilometer to the south lookout now you can also get to there from where we came I was gonna go back the way we came to get to the south lookout but we can just keep going this way so rather than going back the way we came I made it to the south lookout and there's Mount McKay the rest of the Northwestern Mountains. Yeah, this is nice.
you all up into there on my last video. I'll put a link up here in the description. But that's what I thought was called Rabbit Mountain, or yeah, but that's what I thought was called Rabbit Mountain. But I think it, I think it's Fox Mountain. That there, that's Lost Mountain. I've gone up there before too. I'll put a link for there, the hike on that one. Place to sit and enjoy this view. Well, we made it to the South Lookout. There's that one other spot. It's just like the, the trail just kind of comes out to a narrow little spot. And it's like, is this it? And no, it's not. You just keep going, or you come back a little ways, and then you come out to this all opening. And you can really get a good look at the whole range of the Norwester Mountains. Absolutely beautiful. I love I love it here in Thunder Bay. So many beautiful places out here. Now it's time to figure out how to get back. So you know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification for uh, every time you know when I drop a new video. All right, thanks. Bye for now. I'm just gonna enjoy this beef for a while.